first grade, it's Dr. B. I want to talk to you today about math symbols, the first one being the equal sign. And you can see the words there, and that's what it looks like. It's just two lines next to each other like this. Um, there's some ideas that I want to share with you today about an equal sign. The first one being kind of an interesting, easy idea. Let me put the idea list up there for you. All right, so here uh, is, is the first thing that, that the equal sign means. I might have an equation that looks something like this. I might have, you know, 7 equals 7. And the idea behind an equal symbol is that, you know, these two sides are equal. Um, the, the symbol actually says to me that these two sides are equal. And if, and if I wanted to prove it, I'm going to use my butterflies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I have seven butterflies. And on this side, I have seven more butterflies. And maybe these are over my neighbor's yard, and these are in my yard, and we have an equal number of butterflies. And so the first thing, idea that equals means is that these sides are equal, and it tells me that. And so this is what I have. I have an equal sign. But what some kids don't know is that there really is a, another meaning um, that I kind of use when I think about equals, and, and it's, it's one of the areas of confusion for kids. And so I want to, you know, write a little equation for you here. So let's, let's use 3 plus 2 equals, and I'm going to throw in a box. Now, there are some kids that think and that equals means, let me fix my equals and make it nice and dark, that equals means here comes the answer. Well, that's not the case. That is not what equals means at all. Uh, symbols are drawn a particular way for a reason, and equals is, is no exception to that. Equals in this instance, and in all instances, actually has another meaning. And let me talk about that. So here I have one side of the problem, and here's the other side of the problem. And what equals really means is, and, and here's my other idea that I want to share with you, is that it's a command. You know, equals is a command to make it equal. And so here's make it equal. Now I have in, you know, a box in this problem, and sometime in your math career you have learned that equals means I have to make it, or, or that the box means I have to put something in there, uh, an answer, essentially. And, and in this case, I have to make these two sides equal. And so, you know, 3 plus 2 equals 5. And on this side, since I have to make it equal, this side is 5 as well. And since there's only one place to put my answer, then the box would be filled up with the 5, making my equation true. And so I have two, two ideas here. The first one is that these are already equal. I have no boxes to fill in, so there's no command. Um, but in this one, I have a whole different thing. I have uh, a small equation, and, and an equation is just any, num any number sentence that has an equal sign in it. And here's the word equation. And you can see that the first part of the word is just like the word equal. And they've sw popped on the shun to give it a, you know, a noun status here, but that's what makes this an equation, is that it has an equal sign in it. Now what happens, I mean, with kids sometimes, is they, they get confused. And I think the reason they get confused is because they're not thinking about the equal sign. So let's think about the equal sign. And I want to use the equal sign to show you. Mathematicians are smart, and, and they, they think, and they draw their symbols in ways that help us understand what they mean. And so an equal sign is two parallel lines, and it parallel just means next to each other going the same direction and that they'll never touch. But I want you to notice this. You see how on this side I can cram just about the same amount of stuff as that I can cram in on that side. And that's what equals is supposed to tell you, that this side is the same as that side. And the symbol is drawn that way on purpose. And in the next video you're going to see that the some of the other symbols are drawn using equals as, a, as their guideline, and they, they don't say that. But this one does. This one says this side is the same as that side. Now what happens, though, with kids sometimes, is that they, they have these notions that get in their brains, and who knows where these notions come from. Um, 
but they, they get into their brain that when I have a problem that appears to go backwards, you know, we, we kind of get used to going in one direction and I get a problem like this and I think, you know, three plus nine and I'm thinking, hmm, that's backwards. Well, it's not backwards. Not if you think about the way that a problem works. And if I'm thinking about the way the equal sign works, what I'm really thinking is this side equals this side. And since this has a box in it, it has a command, and that makes says to make it equal. So I have to always think, make it equal. And so here's my, my command, make it equal. And I add the three and the nine and I, I get 12. And so I have to, on this side, when I'm thinking like a mathematician, make it equal. There's only one box, so I'm gonna throw the 12 in the box and now the two sides are equal. This is similar to a balance scale. If I draw a balance scale when I'm doing maths, and here's my fulcrum, and, and on this side I have you know a bunch of stuff piled, and on this side I have a bunch of stuff piled. What I want them to be is, oh, that's terrible. I gotta get rid of those and draw a better one. All right, what I really want them to be is equal. Same amount of stuff on this side, same amount of stuff on that side. And so this is a mass example, but it, it works the same way. This one has no story to it. I didn't give it a story yet, so these could be anything. But this one's butterflies. This one has butterflies and butterflies, and there's seven on that side and seven on that side. And I'm always thinking that this is how equals works. Now, the hard ones, this one probably wasn't too hard for you, but these, it gets a little harder. And let me switch back to blue on that so that you really see this. So when I look at this, I think, okay, I'm gonna do a, another what kids consider backwards. It's not backwards, it's just the way it is. But the conundrum comes in when I do subtraction. And kids will sometimes think that because this looks backwards, because most of the time in books it goes, you know, the other way, it goes, you know, what would be considered forward. This one's forward well. I'm still gonna read this the same way. I have to read left to right. I always read left to right in math. And I'm gonna say that some number is equal to six minus two. Just like over here, I said three plus two equals some number. I just read it, you know, what comes to me left to right first. And I, that's how I think about it. So when I make this equal, I'm doing the same exact thing I did before. I am thinking, how much is this side? And I'm gonna make that side equal. And so this side is four, because I know that six minus two is four, because I always read left to right. And on this side, it has to be four as well, because I'm doing the command, make it equal. And so there's my make it equal. And, and this becomes a little confusing. I, I don't know why kids think that they need to go backwards, but sometimes they do. So I wanted to point that out to you, that we always just go straight, straight forward, uh, left to right, just like we always do. And you just read what comes to you. Some number, that's what the box means, right? There's some number is equal to six minus two. And, and that's how we, we handle these. Now the fun thing are the number puzzles. And I wanna quickly show you a number puzzle. Number puzzles come with uh, maybe they'll come with one box or sometimes they come with two. Now this would be an easy number puzzle that came with one box, but sometimes they come with two boxes. And maybe I have something fun. And these number puzzles are just so much fun. I love number puzzles. You guys know me, I love number puzzles. And on this side, maybe I had something like seven plus five. And I know because, you know, I know my addition facts and I've, I've you know, been to first grade that, that seven plus five is 12. Now, this side, of course, when I make it equal, and that's what I always am doing, I'm making it equal, I would have to make this side 12 as well. Now in first grade, it doesn't matter which two numbers I put in here, so long as they equal up to 12. I, I think I'm going to do a doubles fact. I think I'm gonna do six plus six. And I know that six plus six is 12, it's my doubles fact. And it's kind of how I figure this one out always. I usually think, oh, if I put one over here, I'll have six plus six and then it's 12. But I've made these two equals. And these are fun number puzzles. And your teacher has a whole bunch of these to work with you. I hope you had a good time on this one today. See you next time, bye.